Thank you. Uh, my name's Dawn Owen Harris. I'm a local resident and I've known Mrs. Dacogody a long time. <laughs> Through the church and part of the congregation and also with St Chrysostom's being linked with uh, the primary school I attended, um, that's where we first met Mrs Dacacodia, um, Mrs D as I call her, um, known her for 40 odd years since I was a little girl and um, yeah so through school and church relations, my parents. But when I first met Mrs Dacacodia she was the beacon of light for me as a little girl, um, looking up to this lovely lady who used to dress beautifully and just had an air of, of quality and, and, and magnificence about her. Um, and she, she was like that from when I was a little girl right up until her death, really. Um, I knew that she was very, very passionate about the black community, of which we are part, um, was very, very passionate about racism and, and abolishing racism, especially in our community. And that's what she worked tirelessly for, um, within church, within schools, um, within her, I knew she worked in the hospital as well, um, because my mother used to work with her as well for a little short while. Um, she was just a, a wonderful, wonderful lady. Well, I live in Longsight and Mrs. Dacacodia, her first um, activism, if you like, was to set up the Carioca Business Park, which, I mean, she was quite instrumental in that and where it was set up as well. It had to be in an area, deprived area, which was um, where it is set up now. Um, very instrumental and very, very active in getting that off the ground I know she used to work tirelessly for that. And with us, with living so close to it, obviously, um, she was close friends with my parents and would come round to the house and they would talk about it um, and what was going on and just getting it off the ground and to see it today still there and still working and actually giving opportunities to small businesses, which I appreciate now, um, is just a wonderful achievement of hers. Mrs. Dacacodia was um, a, a, a governor at lots of schools, I think, primary schools and secondary schools in the local area, um, central Manchester. Um, she was a governor at St. Chrysostom School, as well as um, the church here, and also at Trinity High School uh, for a number of years, which um, comes to, I used to always look up to her and when I went to college, actually, um, in Manchester, Sheena Simon College, which opened in 1982, she became a governor there and um, encouraged me, actually, to become a student governor. So that was my first step onto that kind of ladder of influence, if you like, to, to influence the students, if I could. Um, and that was all through her, um, her being around and knowing what she was doing influenced me to do that so yeah she would uh, be around all the time always immaculately dressed always would have time for everybody as well that was another thing about Mrs D she always had time for you no matter if you were an old person a young person somebody that she'd known for years or somebody just met she would always have time for you and that was wonderful a wonderful trait that she had really warm. As a Jamaican African uh, woman, Mrs. Dacacodia was of great influence. I know she was involved in the WIOCC um, committee for many, many, many years um, and went on to bigger and greater things from there. Um, but her influence on black women, I think, in the local area of which I am one, was immense. If I'm anything to go by, yes, she, she is still in forefront of our minds all the time for her achievements and what she did for us um, and her activism and her unfailing strength basically because she was she was just a marvelous woman i'm a i'm a self-employed accountant um, by trade but at the moment i actually am not working and i i generally do lots of community work in the area um, i have young children 
So I'm involved with schools and local sport, grassroots, um, and generally um, just looking after the community, making sure everything's okay for us, for the future, for our children. I, I think that, as you're probably aware, I'm, I'm quite in awe of Mrs D and always will be. She was a great influence on my life and continues to be a great influence. And I just hope I can do her proud and make her proud as well.